Right, so what I wanted to go through is just some of the stuff that I've been flowing through um, in the John Hollowaddy mentoring program. Because uh, there's been lots of gold nuggets that I've picked up on. It's just little things that are really looking to look, looks like it's making a huge difference. So like even just seeing some of the other comments and stuff like that that's going on in the group that there's people there have been struggling to get customers for ages and then they're getting like seven, eight in one month kind of thing. And it's just by implementing a few different things um, so one of the kind of first thing is really about connecting with yourself and your branding and figuring out who, basically who you are, who you want to be, and what kind of people you want to work with. Um, and you're saying it's really important to get that in place first, because if you don't have that in place, then you're, you're not really using kind of the law of attraction where you're trying to look for specific types of people. So it's about kind of taking that step back and saying, okay, cool, who am I? Um, like what kind of niche market do I want to work with? What kind of people do I want to work with? Uh, and not just focusing on everybody, kind of narrowing it right down because these are going to be the people that you're going to have a much better connection with. And that means as well, you're going to have a much higher um, conversion rate when you do start to connect with them. Um, and as well, the rapport is going to be, it'll, it's going to work so much better when you start chatting with them because you're going to have a lot more things in common to talk about. Um, so that was kind of the first kind of thing. It's about focusing on getting in place. Um, something else then as well, it's, again, it's about getting out there, chatting with people. Um, and what he's got us doing is basically um, everybody focuses on a 90-day game plan. But what we're doing is it's, it's more, uh, focusing on a 10-day blast. So this is obviously going to be for people that can put in a lot more than two hours a day to do this business. But... It's literally contact 30 people a day. So 30, messaging 30 new people every day for 10 days. So we do that at the start of the month. That gives you 300 people to play around with for the last 20 days of the month. So basically, um, first, first 10 days, 30 people a day that you're messaging, hey, how we doing, whatever, like and comment some of the stuff, whatever it is, just build that initial connection. Um, and then the next 20 days is about following up. So building that bit of rapport and basically getting them to the end of the month where they're either saying yes or no to either the product or the business. Um, Sorry, with that, Steve, so when they says like the first 10 days of contacting, that's just like building rapport with people like, you know, as, you know, that kind of contacting. Yeah, it's just like, hey, how are we doing? What have you been up to today? Or what, what do you oh, do? Oh, liking. From blah, blah. It's just chit-chat stuff. Um, yeah. Just making that initial connection and doing 30 a day. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then over the 10 days that's going to give you 300 people um, yeah so the next thing then is about using a funnel so what i mean by funnel is you might have section one first approach people and then um there you might have basically um a list of every person that you contact so you're basically working on filling that up to 300 people in your first 10 days mm -hmm. and of course it this isn't going to work for everybody. It depends on people's jobs and how much time and effort they have. Um, so what some people could do is just focus on 10 a day, putting in 10 a day after the 10 days, you've got a hundred people. So it's just about doing it in a way that's not going to overwhelm you and it's not going to put too much pressure on you. So start with 10 a day. If it's too much, not go back to five a day, but just be consistent every single day and put it into step one of your funnel, which is approach people. Um, so the way I've done it is in my notes section on my laptop is I literally wrote down section one, first, uh, first approach. Then I'm going to have a list of people. Underneath that, I'm going to have section two, shared info. So the idea then is to get people from section one into section two. So it's building rapport, finding that open, and, and then trying to share some info. So once I've shared the info, then I'll just copy paste their name into the section two that says shared info. Um, so then again, I'm funneling people through there. Then the next section is section three, which is followed up. So once I've booked a follow-up, I'll stick their name in under there. Once I've done a follow-up, I'll stick their name in there. Um, and then building on that list. And then underneath that, I'll have section four, which is either new team or new customer or not interested. So what I simply do then from there is I simply uh, put down their name and write new team, new customer or no. So all you're doing is you're loading up your funnel in the first 10 days and then you're filtering your funnel over the next 20 days. 
Mm -hmm. So again, while you work on 30 people a day, 10 people a day, five people a day, it's just about being consistent over those 10 days. So then you're just basically working on that next punch over the next 20 days. Of course, it's not going to everybody, it's not going to go smooth sailing with everybody. People aren't going to go, some people might take a week to get back to you, some people may take a month to get back to you, but you still know that you're still funneling through. And what you simply do is in the next month that you start again, um, you can still tap back and forth to the people that you're already working with from the month before, but then just start up a new funnel system. And you can see where people are at. You go, okay, cool. I'm going to go back to section two from the month before. I'm going to start messaging all those people. If they don't come back to me, then I'm just going to leave them. Um, I may go aim for maybe two to three connections max. If they're still not responding, then you're just going to completely leave it. But you're just going to see where you're at and you can move on to the next section. Now, of course, going through all these people also means people need to be adding people every day. So if, people, if you're not adding people every day, then you're very quickly going to run out of people doing this. So again, aim for a minimum 10 people a day that you're adding. Um, also as well, not just adding anybody. What you want to do is you want to, this comes back to what I said at the start about focusing on that niche, focusing on who you are and focusing on who those people that you want to work with are. So um, some of the things to do that is simply about joining groups. Um, what you can do is join, say join about 15 groups, is what I've done as well, join 15 groups, um, put those groups as favorites so that they're simple to find, they're gonna be on, on, on your computer when you look through um, on the side panel, you're gonna be able to see all those groups there. And what you wanna do is part of your DMOs is that you wanna spend at least 30 minutes going into each of those groups, liking and commenting, and perhaps putting up posts to add value. So what you're simply doing is you're indirectly building rapport with everybody in the group. They start to see you as an authority figure. They start to see, oh, um, they say, oh, here's Anne. She's posting again. She's liking more stuff. So people are automatically starting to build this rapport and they're starting to see your name over and over. And what we're going to do from there is start adding every active member inside there. Someone's posting a lot, you add them because you, you know that they're, um, that they're going to be active people. And um, then when you make that initial connection, you say, oh my God, I've just seen your post that you put up the other day. I could really connect with it or it was something that was really good or that recipe you shared was really good. Um, or I've seen that you're, you're a mom as well. I've seen that what you're posting, whatever it's going to be, you're making that connection. You automatically have that connection when you send that first message to them. So that's a, another way of getting people for your funnel that you're going to start building in. Um, and that, that's kind of really the main thing, just looking to dig into to find people in that kind of niche market that you're looking for and being in those groups. So like, there's no point in joining the groups if you're not going to be active in them and that you're not going to be commenting and messaging and, and, and being the person that stands out inside there. So it is really important that when you do it, again, if 15 groups is too much for you, then it's just about simply going, okay, cool, let's just start with five groups and see how I go from here. Join the five groups, make sure they're in your favorites so they're simple to find and you just have it as your DMOs that you're in every single one of those groups every single day and that you're doing, spending that time messaging, commenting and putting up new posts um, just to build up that rapport. So yeah, so that's basically the whole, the funnel system and how we do it and how we um, start to use those groups as well on top of that. Um, The next thing then is when people um, have had interest and you've said, shared with some look. If, um, um, I'm just wondering if you'd be open to looking at other ways of creating additional income or I'm looking for help at the moment as I'm expanding my business and we're looking for other coaches to, to work with us, helping, to, helping us to impact the health and lifestyle of others. Who do you know or whatever what kind of approach you do. And when they give you an answer, if they say, yeah, I'd like to know a bit more. It's going to be really important as well that you start to put together your own business video that you're going to share with people because you've connected with this person. You've come across this person as you're building your business. So when you share your business video with them, it's going to be a lot more powerful them hearing your voice and seeing your face. Now, this doesn't have to be a business video like the one I put together. This can be just a three minute video of you simply sharing your story. So it's about saying, um, um, hey, how are we doing? It's been great to connect on social media. I've, um, I just wanted to share a little bit about my story about our business and share a little bit of how it kind of works. 
So um, I've started um, just over three years ago. Um, just share a little bit about your background, why you're excited about it, where you see yourself going. Um, and it's just really kind of sharing your excitement so they see it in you. Sharing also, um, sharing also as well that, yeah, we've had like thousands of people do our programs. Um, what we really want to do is we want to, to connect with other people and have other people join our mission to actually reach out and help to impact the lives of more people. And I said, don't say the name of the products whatsoever. You can run with saying, it's more just about creating that initial vision, that initial excitement and kind of sharing your excitement with it as well. Um, and it, it only needs to be three minutes long. So once they see that, then at the end of the video, so what we're going to do is, um, um, I'd love to hear back from you once you've watched this and I'll be able to answer any questions that you have. So again, it's, it's kind of that way of building rapport and they start to see you as a, an authority figure as well and they start to be, they start to start to look up to you a bit more. Uh, and the more excited you are in the video, the more you can build it up and the more excited they're going to be um, wanting to be joined to be part of, of what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, people, people will join you before they'll join the products. They want to be part of what you're doing and the excitement that you're sharing with them. And if, if you've been messaging them on Facebook and stuff like that, they're going to be looking at your page. They're going to be seeing what you're all about. And that's what they're going to be attracted to. So it's, again, it's, it's going to be really important that even the posts that you're putting up on Facebook, that there's no negativity whatsoever, that you're keeping, all, all everything, that, keeping everything positive, keeping everything um, exciting as well, sharing about you and your life, because it's, they, they, that's what they're going to be want to be a part of. They're going to be want to be a part of you. Um, and then from there, we can continue just to share websites then after that. But it's just making that initial connection, um, having that video help build before and then just getting on the phone afterwards. So, yeah, and he said, keep it three minutes long, so it doesn't have to be too long, it doesn't have to be fancy. He said, right, you want to make sure you don't use a high-definition camera, just use your phone, get on your phone, video it straight from there, because if you do that, it's very duplicatable. It's about keeping it as simple as possible. Um, the old John also talks about as well that don't try to use Zoom for your meetings as much as possible. Um, obviously, if people are in your area, you're going to you know, meet up from coffee because it's always going to be most powerful. But he's, he says, try and use Zoom as much as possible because um, we're showing people how they can build a business online. And we want to keep it as simple as possible. We don't want to make it technical at all. We don't want to have to drive a couple of hours to go meet someone to bring loads of products with us and bring laptops and bring all this kind of stuff because people are going, oh, I don't have a laptop or should I can't do all this or I feel nervous doing that or that, whatever it may be. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's about keeping it as simple as possible. Um, one thing that you could actually add into your business video would be um, doing the, the business presentation basically on a piece of paper, just drawing it out the four sections that we've been through before. So doing like the misconception, um, going through the numbers, going through um, hitting the positions and then going through the positions and bonuses. So it's about keeping it simple, keeping it really short, just has to be quickly going through it. So again, they're seeing that you're doing it on a piece of paper and that you're just basically keeping it as simple as possible for them. Um, so yeah, that's kind of really everything. Um, oh, and there's another thing as well that I wanted to try and focus on. And what he talks about is a taster group. It's something that we don't have in place yet. And simply just a place where we can add potentials. Uh, but in order for this to work, everybody's going to have to work together on it because everybody's going to have to do a business video. Um, not explaining the business, but actually um, a business video sharing your story. So again, just needs to be 60 seconds, uh, why you joined the business, how long you joined the business, why you're excited about it and where you see it going for you in the future and what it's done for you so far. So if everybody's doing that, and if we have this tester group where we just add people in, add people in, just say, let's check out some of the videos there. And uh, if we have a mum join, I might go in and tag them under Lauren's video. If we have a personal trainer, someone might get tagged under my video. So we're going to have all these different people inside of that we can start connecting with. And we just say, look, check out their video, check out their story. And um, also in the group as well, we're going to put together a pinned post Again, running through um, the business presentation. Again, so it's going to be only like a five-minute video. And it's just about kind of really sparking that interest, showing a little bit about a taster of it. 
Um, and then as well, it's just about getting them to listen to all the testimonials and stuff. Um, also as well, we'd share up um, lots of before and after pictures um, and some of the food pictures from the DCN as well. So again, it's just really about people seeing the bigger picture of what it's about, that it's not just one person connecting with them and sharing a bit about it, that they're getting to hear lots of different stories, they get to see the different activity that's going on as well. Every time someone hits a new promotion in, the, in, the, in our business, we can stick it up in there as well. Well done to this person, or this person just done that or whatever. Um, congratulations, this person has just hit their first uh, promotion or got their first five customers or whatever it may be, just to build that excitement so lots of people are seeing it. And again, it's yeah, just, think, just hmm. another one. Once, um, Lawrence, I think someone put up, they bought something with their bonus money. I think it was you, Lawrence. I think got a bonus or something. You said, oh, I bought this as my bonus. I think something like that. I think that's a good idea too. Oh, your yeah. Bonus, or, or even your monthly, even like your monthly payment you get. It's yes. like, oh, I just went out and bought myself a great pair of shoes and I don't know, my something. Hair, got my hair done. <laughs> got your hair done again. Done, got my hair done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know it's yeah like i paid for a thailand holiday which i should put down on, on my blog saying i did pay for thailand last year through my business yeah so that's pretty good so that's something yeah because it attracts people i yeah. think well it would, it would attract me i think it would attract me if i was going to join the business people yeah. saying oh i got this as my bonus got that with my bonus or my paycheck whatever you know that's a good idea i think that really start building the excitement in it People will see that it's it's a lot bigger than yeah. we presume it may be. Uh, also, as well, what's going to be really powerful is creating video, sharing your story on Facebook. So, doing a video, sharing it up, sharing why you're excited about your business, how long you've been started. You don't have to. You don't even have to name. Don't name Juice Plus around like that as well. I just say, oh, I'm really excited about this, about this, and then tagging all our team in it. So again, it's just like a live testimony that's popping up on everybody's news feed of different stories and stuff like that. So again, that's just going to be another way that, um, so when people like are following your page, it's not just your story they see, they see someone else's story as well that's also working with us and stuff like that. So um, they're saying like video, he said video, videos is the most powerful thing. People need to get, he said, like, at the start, people are kind of scared of doing videos or they might feel embarrassed or whatever it may be. And it's just about um, making a video. Don't even watch it and just post it. He said, don't even ever watch it, just post it. <laughs> don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, he said, don't watch it. Do a video, oh, it, don't watch it. Don't worry about it. Just keep doing them. Keep doing it, keep mm. doing it. People are going to be, people will watch them. People will start to making that more of a connection. People will start to see that you're more of a real person. It's not, it's not a kind of a fake on put thing. Um, yeah, and it's just said, uh, just, just do videos everywhere. You want to always have people seeing your face, hearing your voice. Um, so that's something I'm going to start doing myself, just start making videos. Um, be simple thing, or even if like if you're out somewhere and the sun is shining, you're down at the beach, just a quick video, just even showing people where you are, just doing stuff like that. So it's just keeping it simple and doing that and doing it over and over. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, no, that's kind of really the key things that I wanted to go through. Um, so, yeah, it just really comes back to, to doing that stuff over and over and over. Yeah, um, consistency. Yeah. yeah, just being consistent every single day, messaging those 5, 10, 20, 30 people, whatever you're going to do for those 10 days, mm -hmm. using and building relationships and closing each of those people. Um, but yeah, it's, it's what kind of um what groups like when you joined your groups like your groups fifteen what groups are you joining? But what have you joined, for instance? Um, New York Entrepreneurs, CrossFitters of Sydney, Fitness Friends, Cork Vegans, Health Tips. Oh, okay. Just just whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just curious. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just in um. Just in the Facebook kind of um, search bar, just type in whatever you could write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mums of Menai, you could write down. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Personal training. Well, I, was, I was going to try and target people like um, my niche would be like, um, I thought of reinventing myself in a sense, like just be really target over 40s women. Yeah. 
and and fifties, like like that, yeah, um, forties, people out of you know, like that kind of group, forties to fifties, and menopause a little bit, and so there's no because there's, there's no one really doing that. So I think you can go to a group that's like a niche that not many people are doing, because there's heaps of people in twenties and thirties. It's pretty flooded. They're like it's heaps doing. There's so many young people in fitness, and but there's not as many. It's not a huge market in my age group, which I think would be great. I could target into a market that's not massive, yeah. you know, well, and I could be a role model. Yeah, just just look up on uh, in Facebook. Yeah, I did. I looked up fifties. I did actually do that 50, over fifties. There's a couple, but there's, a lot, there's not really a lot. So I thought of creating my own over fifties group or forties or fifty yeah, women like that. Yeah. Something um, that could be for them because not many groups. So that's a good thing. It's not flooded. So I thought of doing something like that. Yeah, no, that, that'll be good. You just you just have to kind of search for them, see what you come up with. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And be sort of so people that follow me because I'm the, I'm kind of working out um, into fitness, got my own business, you know, and things like that. So yeah. here, here's a group I just seen: women who yep. are over forty and still sexy. There's six thousand two hundred yeah. fifty people in there. What's and it called? Over forty, fearless and free. It's nearly. <laughs> Three and a half thousand. Oh. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'll go in that one. How yeah. about 50 and fabulous? Let's go there. <laughs> I just put in 40, 40 plus women, and that's yeah. the groups that came yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look for those niche markets, jump in there. Yeah, just do it like I was saying there a second ago comment, like, mm. start building that indirect yeah. for people, and then anybody likes your stuff around like that, you add them straight away, and also add yeah. all the other active inside it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep doing it, keep doing it, and aim, aim for that minimum 10 a day of adding. And just yep. keep building it, keep building it. Um, mm. And then, of course, then set, setting up your either Hootsuite or Buffer or whatever to get some... Um, oh, I've got a question about Hootsuite. I'm on Hootsuite, and I'm doing it. For some reason, if it's, um, it might, when it might go to Instagram. Oh, Do you yeah. With that or it... I, I, don't, I don't use it for Instagram because you actually have to... So if you manually do it, when you schedule one, you actually have to go back into the app and actually click on it and, and do it across and then actually have to put it up. So. Yeah. Cause I've been doing that. I thought, Oh, I've got to go back and do it. It's the point in me scheduling it. Cause I've got to do it anyway. So yeah. is that right? I, I just use it for Facebook and LinkedIn and LinkedIn. Yeah. Cause going LinkedIn, it's going to Facebook. Okay. So it wasn't me. I thought it might've been me. It's not. Okay. Yeah. I, I just, okay. I schedule five posts a day. Mm, well, I might do some more. Yeah. I do five thirty a.m., seven thirty a.m., twelve thirty, um, something like five forty-five, and then around eight p.m. Yeah. And then I do two to three more throughout the day, uh, yeah. and I do max one to two product or program or testimonial or something. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, me too. I want to do more like that girl. I watch. I did. Was I like that girl's that post that um, the million dollar girl. Um, recently and went to watch you said to watch her yeah. um yeah i thought it was good hers were good i was looking at hers and um yeah just make it do the post not so much all about the dcn and this plus but to do it about everything you know like others others like two maybe like you're saying two posts about our pro our product or whatever and then do the rest about lifestyle or other hobbies other interests yeah yeah so i thought that hers was good i liked hers Cool, cool. Did you listen to that MLM Nation the other day, Steve, from the social media chick? Or is that who you're talking about? No. Um, she, her name's Emily Vavra. And she did MLM Nation the other day. And it was all on social media. And it was really good. Yeah. Um, oh, I think it was her. Wasn't she the town? It was a tiny name. The girl. That yeah. Was Emily Vavra. And she... She's millionaire from Isogenics. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. She's great. You seen her pose? They're good. Yeah, yeah so yeah. she says to focus on um like five topics. Like oh, have five it. yeah. Five, so have five topics, topics that yeah. like get you excited. So it might be family, fitness, um, Christian, Christian fashion. Things. Yeah. Christianity. Um, Christianity said that on and I thought, yeah. So I thought of posting up today. I thought I've got to find more posts like fashion. I love clothes. I might put yeah. oh, I'll start putting clothes up and 
I love these boots. Like that Anita does. You know Anita? Yeah. Anita? Yeah. yeah. She does. Yeah. Where did she, where did she get her sexy photos from? I don't know. I think she just gets, from Pinterest. Is, she gets some good ones, doesn't she? Yeah, you just go photos. to Pinterest. But yeah, yeah I Pinterest, thought that was yeah. a good good concept. It's just to think of five different topics that you like. Yeah. And then to post about post about those so it's not about your product or your program the and then time. if you have those in, your, those in your head you don't have to keep thinking about oh shit what am I going to post about today you've I know, got them like, in your head then you can yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and people get yeah, more she was rather than going oh she's just doing product again again boring yeah yeah, yeah. No, that was that was really good that MLM Nation with her on it she did she yeah. spoke really well, well she, I might go on it she, yeah I might listen to yeah. it yeah what you yeah. as okay. well is um, on your phone if you whatever topics you pick that you want to start sharing and posting about, um, open up a new folders in your pictures for each of them. Yeah. Google and just look for loads of, loads of pictures and just yeah. folder. Mm. So that way you can just go. Oh, I've got folders, yeah. I've got motivation ones, before and afters, testimony, DCN. Yeah, put them in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah I think yeah. that'd be good. Yeah, that's what I do, trying to stick different pictures and sayings and stuff like that and pop them in the little folders. Yeah. Um, yeah. Steve, have you done a new, so when, when you're saying with the business video, have you done a new one or do you just use your one that you've done? I just use my one and I, I'm not sure if you've seen the one I've done on the beach. Um, that's, that's, that's the kind of one I'd use. Yeah, so he's saying not to say anything about Juice Plus in that business video? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so don't say anything about the DCN? Uh, no, he says... He says, sell your brand, not your product. Okay. He said, yeah, very much selling I'll your have to watch yours. <laughs> so. I'd like to see that. So three minutes, is that you're saying three minutes of talking, but no product, no. Yeah. Just, yeah, just helping keep, others. and Keep it simple, <laughs> who you are, why you're excited. Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, yeah, keep it very simple. I'm, I'm, I'm just still running on my one. Because okay. I've done a property and I've edited it and I've done it on the beach and I've put in testimonials and everything. Um, and the person I signed up yesterday was because of that video. Plus I've got two more people looking to start as well and it's also because of that video. Which video is that one? Is it on... Have you, have you seen the one of me doing it on the beach now? Not the beach. No, no, no. I've already seen the one that you've done, I think, ages ago. Is that the business and you're explaining it? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, so that, that's explaining. So that one's explaining the business, but this one's actually yeah. building interest about what and what we're doing and showing people how, getting people to realize that they can start to build yeah. an online business that can allow them to, to work from home and yeah, I've seen that one. And work from the beach. I'll have to see that one then. Where's that? Is that in your plate? Whereabouts? That one. Yours. So I put that together and then um, Zoe set me up um, a landing page to go with it. So, have you seen that, Lauren? I don't think I've seen your beach one. Mm. Cool. I'll have a look at it. Thanks. I'll send, I'll send, I'll just send it to you there now. And yeah. I'll send it to you there now as well. Yeah. Um, so after you've shared that business video with, with your two people that are signed on now, did they ask for any more exposure or you just basically met up with them and had a one-on-one -on -one with them? Um, so first guy, he goes, yeah, it sounds really interesting. Um, I've heard about a little bit about network marketing before, but it's not really for me. Um, mm -hmm. We can find out a little bit more about what you do. Um, the other person I rang up, she goes, um, I really like the video, it sounds really genuine. Um, I come across these things all the time and they just seem very salesy and pushy and stuff, but after watching yours, I feel a lot more connected about what you're doing mm -hmm. I want to get started. Uh, and another girl as well said the same thing, I just want to get started without even looking at any more information. Yeah. So. And are all those people like your niche people, like they're all fitness people or are they all different? Um, not one, one is a nurse. Okay, cool. I was just wondering, like, I wonder if they only connect if they're like your niche, which is, I know we've got a target anyway, but. Uh, well, I, 
how I got those people is I stuck the video in an Irish group. You basically, oh, okay. video. basically put up a post saying, um, I can't remember, what do I say now? I said something like, if, if a Cork guy can quit his job, move oh, on. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I saw that, that post. Was, that was that good. Was really, I thought that was really good. Yeah, it was that, good. That is very powerful, I thought. Yeah. 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 Oh, really, that sounds really enticing. Yeah, so yeah, three positive leads from it and another three leads that didn't really go anywhere. So, yeah, no. Um, but yeah, it's the video that was, that's with that. That's, that's the one I'm on about. But um, yeah, anyway, it's, it's just about creating just that three minute video just to start off with, to create that initial interest, to share your excitement. Um, and yeah, and that, that video, just, just do, do that video a few times and watch it back. And then once you get it right, you just save it. So then every person that you speak to and they say, if you a bit more information, just share that. Yeah, and just share a little bit about your story, your background, how you got started, why you're excited about the business, where you see it going. Um, and then a little bit of what, what the focus is. We're helping people boost their health and improve their eating habits. We've had thousands of people do our program, and got incredible results, and we're just really looking for other people that are open to sharing the same vision with us and helping us to reach out and help more people. So and it's just putting that together, sharing with people. Um, you could also put in the video as well saying that this this is kind of how we do our business. We just work from our mobile phone oh, yeah, like we are doing here. Oh, yeah. About keeping it simple. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So, so I think that's kind of everything I really wanted to cover today. Yeah. All right. So. Fantastic. Yeah, awesome. Fantastic. Let's get our videos, Lauren. <laughs> yeah, I know we would get them done. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Got to practice.